And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Good Saturday evening, everyone. It has been a warm and humid day with mostly cloudy skies. And so far on the radar, we've just seen a couple of showers moving from north to south. We're going to keep in a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms tonight ahead of a front that comes in tomorrow morning. It's a weak front, but the best news of all is that the humidity will take a vacation behind the front starting tomorrow. Take a look right now at the temperatures. It's still very warm outside. 84 degrees in Raymondville and Harlingen, 82 in Brownsville, 92 out west. In Rio Grande City, 87 in McAllen, but 79 in Port Isabel. And it also has been breezy. Winds right now out of the south to southeast between 14 to 22 miles an hour, with a gust of 30 in Harlingen, 25 in Westlico, and 17 in Edinburgh. Here's your evening planner forecast. If I were you going out, I would take an umbrella just in case. We're going to leave in a 20% chance of some spotty showers or a thunderstorm, especially early on tonight. The temperature is going to be in the lower 80s at 7 p.m., upper 70s at 9 p.m., mostly cloudy. Over Overnight, 74 degrees at 11 o'clock tonight, and there is a chance for some patchy late fog. So the front is on its way to the valley. You guys here early tomorrow morning. Ahead of it, warm front pushing through Houston and Central Texas. A lot of showers and thunderstorms for Oklahoma, East Texas, parts of Louisiana and Arkansas. For us, again, just a slight chance for some rain tonight, maybe a thunderstorm. And look at the temperatures behind that warm front right now. 90 degrees in Del Rio, 84 in Laredo, but to the east, ahead of that front, 64 in in Dallas, Fort Worth, and Abilene, 62 in Longview, and 73 degrees in Houston. So here's Future Track. This is Sunday, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The front comes through. It's a very weak front early on tomorrow morning. The clouds will decrease as the day goes on, but the best news, those winds will shift to the north and northeast tomorrow, so it is not going to be very humid tomorrow. Very nice day. Yes, it will be warm tomorrow afternoon with high temperatures in the upper 80s, but at least it won't be humid. And even better, when you wake up Monday morning, it's going to feel cool as low temperatures dip into the lower 60s. Also another cool morning on Tuesday with low temperatures again in the lower 60s. It should be dry Monday and Tuesday. Another front makes its way toward the valley by Wednesday and Thursday. This front may weaken and fizzle out by Wednesday and Thursday, though we will put in a slight chance for some showers again starting Thursday of next week. All throughout this time, the high temperatures will remain in the 80s for the next six to seven days. On the water tonight and tomorrow, small craft should use caution. We'll have winds out of the southeast tonight, shifting to the northeast tomorrow at 10 to 20 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop. Your next tide is a low tide at 2.09 tomorrow morning, and the seas are 2 to 6 feet. So for tonight, we'll call it mostly cloudy. There is a 20% chance of some showers or thunderstorms, mainly early on, but no severe weather expected. 70 the magic number, and there is a chance for some patchy overnight fog. Then for tomorrow, after a chance for some patchy morning fog, the clouds will decrease as the day goes on. So mostly sunny for tomorrow afternoon. Still warm with a high temperature of 87 degrees, but at least it will not be humid because the winds will be out of the north northeast around 5 to 10. 10 miles an hour. So here's that seven day forecast. We've got a couple of cool mornings here. That is Monday and Tuesday with low temperatures both days in the lower 60s. That means we could see some 50s up in the northern ranch lands. Partly sunny skies Monday and Tuesday after a cool morning, somewhat warm in the afternoon. 84 Monday, 86 on Tuesday, 87 on Wednesday. Morning lows still in the mid 60s. And at this point, we'll throw in a 20% chance of some spotty showers Thursday into Friday and next Saturday. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. Now here's Ruben with a look at sports.